We are coming to you live from Steel Town, Pennsylvania at the sold-out Three Mile Island Stadium. There's nothing quite like playing in the scenic toxic nuclear waste dump. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Los Scandalous Volts take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Mutants I'd like to fuck. He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you halfwit. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Oh, va 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 boom <laughs> And it's first and ten. He's not going down. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Third down and forever. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Sticking out a flimsy low hand's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third and two. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. <laughs> and it's first and ten. to go and got nothing out of it. <laughs> Second down and ten. Oh, that's a vicious 
is it, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. First and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! First down and nine. Say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and six. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. somehow and hold on for the first down this guy has a nice set of hands grim it's the that's the end of the first quarter and it's still anyone's game oh, oh could it be mine and it's first and ten hot, hot one he is rolling thunder and oh he fumbled that one everyone loves being on the highlight reel leaping over a defender but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? He's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. <laughs> And it's first and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and five. Rig the ball to 
explode, and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Kim. Kim, I'm not going to have to get on there. Get on there. Get on there. Second down and five. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. I would have thought you had that muscles to move like that. Or a brain or a nervous system, but I see your point, Bricks. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him <laughs> and it's first and ten if you don't hear it coming it'll knock you right on your head and like bricks's bowels he is loose and heading for the end zone he could go First and eight to go. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for... Oh, man, about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this. like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. down and 
never going to happen. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. First down and forever. Six yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. Second down and long. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. That's a six-yard gain. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And that'll be second down and four. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good... The quarterback burns his last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. And it's first and ten. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. Put on a display there. Touchdown. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! Second down, and the offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Uh, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I thought it was a cop. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a 
simple game when it comes down to it. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Man, can I kill him? That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with ten yards on the play. Second down and inches. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. He's, he took a beast boost to fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20. He's at the 10, and he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Damn, man. He's going to stand up now. He's going to Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Manji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. He was 
Burrow's not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and two. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Greedy or desperate, either way, they're going for two. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Wrestling? And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big. Oh, welcome to Fumble Town, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. your first hit. A lack of blood, everyone having all their limbs. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Nice pickup for six yards. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is good. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Runs it for three. Second down and seven. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense, knocking everyone. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Second down and ten. And 
And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Third down and three. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down in a very lot. And they needed that big run right there, Bricks. They sure fucking did, Grim. They sure fucking did. And that'll bring up third and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a crazed turk. The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. <laughs> Third down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. And they'll line up for the field goal. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Second down in a mile. Picks up maybe four on that play. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hot two. Hey. unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh well maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on the nice catch and it turns on the afterburners punt returners in this league have a low oh, with the brutal hit And 
Saints. First and ten. He could go all the way. The ten. He's running out of gas now. for one when he could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down and a lot. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Third down and, well, good luck. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, no, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Well, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick.
You don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim! You mean aside from priming the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. Sandwiches. I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. It's a good thing to blow a play, but the blow up. The Blitzburg Steelheads win this one. It was quite a nail biter today. They came up big with a one point win to seal the victory. Who wants wings? I do. Make them extra spicy. I like it when they come out hotter than when they go in. I'm buying. Let's listen to the MVP. Maybe he wants some wings too. I'm a hot scammer. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...